good morning. Thank you so much for joining me this morning for Chair Yoga. This is a new class. I'm so honored and grateful to be able to lead this practice. Before we get started, let's just make sure that our foundation is sturdy. So really thinking about the chair here. If you've got a chair that has a back, so a back to the chair, this is ideal. Also, a chair that does not have any arms, that's also ideal. And then from here, we want to make sure that our feet are able to touch the ground. So if you're in a chair that is the seat is high and your feet are dangling, see if you can find something sturdy, something firm that you can place beneath your feet so that you can bring the earth to you. The second thing, or maybe the third or fourth thing at this point, is that throughout our practice, we're going to really want to make sure that we are able to find length in our spine. So sitting all the way up. And that isn't, isn't so easy. So if you feel like you'd like some support behind you, instead of slouching backwards, see if you can maintain the length through the spine, but perhaps you grab a pillow, maybe a couch pillow or a pillow right from your bed, and you can place the pillow right behind you so that way you've got some cushion, but you've also got support so that you can sit up, lengthen through the spine, and find that energetic rising upwards. So take a moment to get yourself situated. There's no rush here. Again, I thank you so much for joining me on this Monday morning so much is happening. There's been a radical shift that is happening across this country. In the fight for justice, and here we can create this space where we can find our breath, where we can find our foundation so that we are able to be the best and strongest people that we're able to be as we continue to push and fight for justice, for change, and for Black lives. So with that, um, to sit, notice your foundation, notice the length of your spine, notice the earth beneath you, perhaps you rest with your hands in your lap, or maybe there's an alternate mudra you'd like to take. Hands. Perhaps you close your eyes or soften your gaze in this attempt to truly go inward, to shift your focus, your observation, to shift it towards you. Notice your breath. Notice the path that your breath takes.
as you inhale. And as you exhale. Notice what it feels like to be with your breath, to acknowledge it in this moment, to notice it in this moment. Perhaps you connect to the sound of your breath. Breathing in through the mouth. Breathing out through the mouth. Noticing the temperature of the air as it floats in. The temperature of the air as it presses out. Find that constriction in the back of your throat. That sounds like the letter H. It also sounds like the ocean. It's your ujjayi breath. Sinus is permitting, seal your lips. See if you can find that ocean-like uprising breath while breathing in through the nose. Back out through the nose. Every inhale, finding length through your spine. Every exhale, rooting down through your bottom to sit up a little bit taller, softening your shoulders. Our opening pranayama will begin with a balanced breath, samarichi. Where we'll find the length of our inhalation to match the length of our exhalation. Before we begin, notice your foundation, your feet pressing into the earth, the support of the chair beneath you, the length of your spine, the softening of your shoulders, and then the opening of your throat. We'll begin with the count of four. So whenever you're ready, at your own pace, perhaps not my count, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. 
breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once more, notice your body. Notice any places you may be holding tension that perhaps in this moment can be released. Perhaps the softening of the shoulders. Maybe the unclenching of the jaw. Perhaps relaxing the palms. Clenching the fists. Even a softening of the little muscles in the face, between the eyebrows. Just notice. And as you move through your summer retreat at your own pace, choose for you what works. Well, maybe the count of four felt perfect. Stick with it. If you found yourself grasping for air, trying to catch your breath, I recommend reducing the count to three, maybe two, maybe one. If you find in this moment that you need to extend your inhalation and exhalation even longer so that you can fill up your lungs, perhaps you increase your count to maybe five, maybe six. Listen to your inner voice, your inner guidance that will guide you throughout our time together. Go ahead and try your summer retreat, your balanced breath on your own. Try for four rounds at our own pace. I'll be quiet. Tune in to you and your breath. Whenever you finished your fourth round, or wherever you may be, begin to just breathe once more at your own pace, in and out. Perhaps tapping in once more to the sound of your breath. what it feels like to hear your breath, to feel your breath. 
maybe even to honor your breath. Whenever you're ready, we'll bring our hands to heart center. In this pose called Anjali Mudra, we'll open our practice. We'll commit to leading with our hearts. And we'll share three breaths together at your own pace, breathing in to fill all the way up and breathing out to let it go. At the top of your inhale, pause. Open your mouth and let it go. Allow your hands to drift to your lap. Maybe you slowly even blink your eyes open. Or maybe you keep that soft gaze if that really helps you to connect to within and you just listen to my voice. As we breathe in, let's bring our hands out, palms face forward to either side of our bodies. Just notice what this feels like, allowing the arms to extend long, spine still long, Heart is open. Lengthen your tailbone down. And just breathe. This time we'll inhale to reach the arms all the way up, allowing the shoulders to soften as we do so. Nice and slow. And then on your exhale, reach the arms down. See if you can match the length of your breath to your movement as you reach up. And as you reach back down. Noticing how these movements now are affecting the nervous system. Taking time to pause, to find stillness, to find your breath, to drink some water, whatever it may be. This time when the palms come up all the way, press your hands together. And as you exhale, allow the palms, the pressed hands, to come down, back to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, palms come out, arms extend, reaching all the way up. And as we exhale, palms together, back through heart center. Notice how your arms feel, perhaps any muscles beginning to activate through the biceps, maybe the triceps, perhaps even awaken, tapping into your breath. Last one. Palms to your lap, just breathe. So as we take this extended time to be still, to find small movements, 
we're really focusing on the breath here, focusing on activating the parasympathetic nervous system. When so much is happening in the world, when we're working all of us to fight for justice and freedom, there's like this, this amplification of the sympathetic nervous system. So what we're doing here is we're finding the opposite. They go hand in hand. We're just now working with the parasympathetic nervous system. To find our peace, our relaxation so that we can be clear-minded as we move forward. So from here, bring your right hand to your heart. Extend your left arm out long. Notice your beating heart. As you inhale, reach your hand all the way up. Arm stretches out long. Engage the tummy. And as you breathe out, arm comes back to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to reach out to lengthen through the spine. Exhale to reach all the way to your left. When you're ready, we'll switch sides. Noticing the arms. We've done a lot with our arms thus far. Noticing how it feels. Taking breaks when wanted or needed. First, tap into your beating heart. Inhale to reach one arm up to the sky. Exhale, arm comes out to a T. So palm is right in line with your shoulder. Noticing what it feels like to move with awareness. One. Exhale to bring your palms to your lap. This time, noticing the arms, bring one palm to grasp hold beneath your chair, beneath the seat of your chair. And let's inhale, reach the left arm all the way up just like we did. But this time, we're gonna twist the belly to the right. And not just the belly, but we're twisting the low ribs, we're moving our hearts, and then we're twisting through the spine. Maybe you look over that back right shoulder. You can stay right here. Or perhaps you cut the left palm through the air, bringing the back of your hand to the outer edge of your right thigh for your twist. If you'd like to go deeper, maybe you take that right hand, place it to the back of your chair, sit up nice and tall as you continue to twist through the spine, perhaps looking over the back right shoulder. Breathe deeply here, notice your foundation, notice your feet pressing into the ground, Notice your butt bones pressing into the chair. And let's keep the torso twisted, noticing the breath as we find the twist, noticing the constriction of the breath. Noticing how this constriction of the breath is an offering to breathe deeper and longer. Big breath in, just twist your gaze, or just turn the gaze to look over that front left shoulder, head in one direction, heart in the other. Breathe here. Big breath in, big breath out, and big breath in to engage the tummy and then wind. Notice how you feel. Breathe in, reach the shoulders up. Breathe out, draw the shoulders down. 
Breathe in to reach the shoulders up, draw them back. Notice the shoulder blades coming together and then we draw the shoulders back down. So big circles, inhale, reach the shoulders up. Exhale, draw them back and down. Perhaps you go forwards, reaching up, drawing the shoulders forward and down as you breathe out. Just notice. The body, notice the thoughts, connect to your breath. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna take the left hand this time, bring it beneath the chair so that you can support yourself as you reach this right arm up, up, up to the sky. Draw your shoulder blades down, soften your shoulders. Tummy engaged, take your twist to the left. Breathe deeply here. As you look to the left, maybe you glance or look over the back left shoulder. Really tune into what is good for your neck. You can stay right here, or perhaps you cut that right arm through the sky. You've got it reaching out all the way to the left. Back of that right palm reaches to the outer edge of the left leg. Just breathe. And stay right here. Or if you'd like to deepen the twist, remove the left hand from the base of the chair. Now bring it to the back of your chair. Inhale to lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, twist a little bit deeper, perhaps looking over the back left shoulder. Maybe you nod the head, yes or no. And now, wherever you've landed in this twist, engage the tummy. Keep the torso exactly where you, it is. Gaze now over the front right shoulder. Perhaps once more, nodding the head, yes and no. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in to unwind. Notice how you feel. Notice the nervous system. Our nervous system can be so helpful. I mean, it's designed to help us. And when we think of this time when we are fighting and protesting against the white power structure, perhaps you notice that that adrenaline, that the cortisol that flows through you as the sympathetic nervous system kicks in, perhaps you notice that you're able to do the work that needs to be done. Perhaps it's helpful in helping you to use your voice, to use your body, to use your breath and your mind for the good of humanity. And you notice the sympathetic nervous system has a purpose, an important one. We also do this yoga so that we can notice the parasympathetic nervous system. So that we may notice the times when we no longer need to fight, when we can be with our breath and be with our breath in peace, ultimately reducing our anxiety and reducing those stress hormones that come in handy for sure. 
they don't need to be activated at all times. And they're activated at all times that creates so much internal lifelong strife, chronic stress. It affects the heart. It affects the soul. So see if you can give yourself this moment to really tap in, to breathe, to notice the support of the earth beneath you, the support of your breath. From here, let's walk the left foot, heel to the left foot, to the left. We're just gonna awaken the hips. Heel to the right foot, to the right. You'll know when enough is enough. Finding this opening, noticing your femur, your thigh bones, as they really plug in to the hip joints. And here, as we ease into our hip work and we ease into the second chakra is really thinking about our right to feel our emotions, however they may be, and the fluidity of them. I encourage you to be gentle and kind and soft to yourself. Speak to yourself with love and to, to allow whatever flows up and comes up to just do so, knowing that the energy will, will rise and it will fall. It will come and it will go. It will come to a peak. And of course it can float away when you connect to the power of your breath. Breathe deeply here. Maybe find that as we sit in this pose a little longer, Maybe the hips begin to, to surrender. Maybe you notice that the feet can walk open a little bit further. Just breathe, notice your butt, your butt bones plugging into the chair and see if you can allow your butt to go heavier and heavier. Notice your feet pressing into the earth. Press them more firmly. So here, knees and toes are both pointed at 45, like 45 degree angles. So knees and toes are pointed in the same direction. And then see if you can even draw the knees open just a little bit more so that the knees can track over that little space between your second and third toes. You've been here for quite a while. Notice what's happening within you. And let's engage the core here. So we're thinking second chakra for sure through the hips. And let's see if we can even think third chakra through our core. Noticing the ribs and the belly button. And I'm really thinking about this space right between the two. Our center of power. Our strength. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, draw the hands down, even make fists if that helps you really to engage with your own strength. And as you exhale, let it come out sharply. Ah! Inhale. Exhale. Ah! Inhale. Exhale. Last one. With all your might, bring your hands back down to your lap. Yes, I know we're still sitting like this. Bring your right forearm to your right thigh. 
Inhale, reach left arm up and over, stretching through the left side of your body. Breathe deeply here. You can look up towards the ceiling or you can look down towards the right earth beneath you to find that stretch to the left side of the neck. Inhale, engage your tummy, bring your arms out to a T. Stay with it, you've got it. Stay with your breath. Even if that means coming out of the posture, stay with your breath. Left forearm to left thigh. Reaching up and over through the right arm. Stretching through the right side of the body, noticing your heart spin towards the sky as you draw the right shoulder back, lengthen through the neck, and then choose where you'd like to gaze. Inhale, engage the tummy, arms out to a T. Woo. Exhale, hands back to your lap. Good job. And let's heel toe now, the feet back towards that that neutral sitting position where we were in, where our feet were hips distance apart, and then inner edges of the feet are parallel. So just nice and slow. Notice how you feel. Notice how the hips feel. Notice what's arisen for you. And see if you can. Maybe embrace the feelings, embrace the emotions, and maybe even look to them as teachers, as helpers from beyond. Our feelings are neither right nor wrong, they just are, but they do have a purpose. They do have the ability to help us and show us something that maybe we haven't quite seen before. Or maybe something that we've stuffed down, deep, deep, deep down inside of us that just simply want to come up and out to be released. Just breathe. Noticing thoughts, allowing them to come, allowing them to go. From here, notice your left foot pressing firmly into the earth as you inhale, lift that right foot up off the ground. Maybe you interlace your fingers around that right shin and hug the knee in towards your body. Or maybe you just allow it to float, whatever works for you. Breathe in and breathe out. From here, open up. So through that right knee, so just draw the right knee a little bit to the right. And then with the left hand, see if you can grab hold of the base of your foot. So towards the heel, the sole of your foot, right hand supporting the shin. And we're just going to guide with awareness and love for our bodies, that right ankle to the base of the left thigh. So avoid the knee. We're not pressing into the knee joint. We're really allowing the ankle to sit on the base of the thigh because the base of the thigh can support, can be so supportive. The knees, we need to do a little bit more to protect them so we avoid the knee. Lengthen your tailbone down. Notice your butt pressing into your chair, lengthening through the spine, softening the shoulders. Breathe right here. Flex those top right toes, maybe even helping yourself to just guide those toes towards a flex position. And then from here, once more, grab hold of the base of your chair, underneath the chair, engage the tummy. Tummy is so strong here as we hinge forward just slightly. 
with ease, with fluidity. Finding your edge. Noticing what happens when you reach your edge, when you reach your boundary, and you hold firm. Can you connect to your breath? Perhaps you stay just like this. Maybe you hinge deeper. Release the ego here. Release the need to reach a goal, to perform, to impress, and just truly tap in to the feeling. What does this feel like? Maybe you soften the eyes. Lengthen the spine. So spine is still long here. Avoid curling into yourself. See if you can keep that spine long. We'll do some cat and cow after this. And as you inhale, engage the tummy. Keep holding tight to the bottom of the chair to support you all the way up. Breathe deeply here. Nice and slow here. Sometimes when we fold forward, we can get dizzy because the blood is rushing to our heads. So take the time to re-ground yourself into this moment, perhaps tuning in to anything you may sense, perhaps a smell in your home, maybe a taste that's still lingering on your tongue from your breakfast, whatever it may be. Allow that to be your anchor to this moment. And then when you're ready, you'll release the base of your chair. And then from here, you can use your left hand to help you support that right foot. The right hand helps to support that right leg. As we just guide the leg back down to the ground, nice and easy, nice and gentle. And then come back to your upright seated position. Breathe deeply here. Notice we're still working through the hips. We're embracing the hips. Embracing our emotion. Right that we have to feel our feelings. Maybe releasing any fear that we may, we may have to feel, to be emotional. Tapping into that safety that we give ourselves to feel what we feel. And then whenever you're ready, you'll press your right foot into the ground, root it into the ground, get light on the left, draw the knee up. Maybe you stay right here, or maybe you interlace your fingers, reach for your shin, Oof. draw the knee in towards your chest, sit up nice and tall, you got it. Maybe you really feel that femur plugging into your hip joint. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna draw the left knee over towards the left just a bit. Toes even turn a little bit to the left. You'll reach for the base of the foot, the sole of the foot, and you're just gonna guide the left ankle to the base of the right thigh. Avoid the knee, flex the left toes, sit up nice and tall, soften the shoulders. Breathe right here. My neck is feeling a little stiff, so I'm just gonna draw some circles with my nose. Maybe that, that 
feels nice for you too. Almost imagining like a beautiful light on the tip of your nose and you're just creating a circle. Almost like a, a beautiful energy field, I like to think of it as of, of love and positivity and peace, protection and safety. Just drawing that circle with your nose. And you're looking to the left, nodding yes, nodding no. Looking to the right, yes, no. And whenever you're ready, coming back to that neutral cervical spine, sitting up nice and tall, grab hold of the base of the chair, engage the tummy as you hinge from the hips. Nice and slow, connecting to the feeling, connecting to the moment. Allow yourself to feel what it feels like to stretch the hips. Breathe through it. Find your edge. And then hold firm. Noticing your breath that has not left you. Perhaps as we find this posture for a few more seconds, more moments, you notice that you can hinge a little bit deeper. Keep holding on to the base of your chair, keep engaging your core. Spine is long, I promise you will get to cat cow or we arch, but we can arch our spine. Let's see if you can keep the spine super long here, pressing the hips back as you reach the chest forwards and down. Notice the moment, notice the breath. Notice how you feel. Truly tapping into feeling now. Allowing the mind to zip it with the narrative, with the story, with the explanation. Just tapping in to the sensation. And then whenever you're ready, keep holding on to the base of the chair. Engage your tummy. Come up nice and slow. Before you go anywhere, reground yourself. Breathe. When you're ready, you'll know when. Release the grip on your chair. Nice and easy. Support the leg, that left leg, all the way back down to the ground. Engage the tummy as you come back up to that neutral seated position. Oof. Let's take some arm circles here. So as you inhale, to reach the arm all the way out forwards and then up. And exhale, reach back and down. So this is a little bit different than how we began. Now we're thinking of really drawing like big circles as opposed to drawing angel wings when we first began. Let's take one more. Engage your tummy. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to reach this time back behind you. Oof. Nice job. <sighs> Relax that arm. Relax that palm back to your lap. This time, inhale to reach back, back, back behind you. All the way up. 
and all the way forward. It's like you're reaching for someone's hand. Nice and slow, inhaling for half of the circle. And then exhaling for half of the circle. Nice job. Palm to your left. And then just notice how one arm feels from the other. I feel like one of my arms, that right arm, is longer. Oh, stretched out. Let's see if we can find that on our second side. So reaching down maybe to begin, and then inhaling to reach all the way in front of you, to reach all the way up, and then like finding that external rotation as we reach back and down. Soften the shoulders, lengthen through the spine, even the cervical spine, the neck. Reaching the crown of your head up. And then last one, here we go. Maybe connecting to the sound of your breath. Palm back to your lap. Notice how you feel. Let's just reverse those circles. Inhaling, reaching down, back, up. Exhaling to reach to the ceiling, forwards to the front, and down. One more time. To release. Maybe you take some shoulder shimmies if that feels good. And as promised, cat and cow, let's notice how the spine feels. Take a big breath in, just neutral spine here. And a big breath out. And now as you inhale, reach your heart forward, draw your shoulder blades together. Engage the tummy as you exhale. Reach your back, your upper back, all the way back behind you. Curl in, look towards your belly button. Inhale, relax the shoulders, press the heart forward. Chin untucks itself. Exhale, curl in towards yourself. Stretch through the spine. Let's take one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to that neutral spine. Rooting down through your seat, lengthening through your spine. And we're almost towards our final resting pose. But I just wanted us to feel our core in particular before our practice ends today so that we can end with strength, end with power. So if you're interested, interlace your fingers behind your skull. Allow your head to kind of be heavy into your palms. Elbows are wide. Breathe here. Press your left foot in the ground. Get light on that right foot, reach the right knee to the ceiling. And we're just going to take a little crunch to the right. So engage the tummy here so that nice and tall, crunch to the right. And it doesn't have to be a big movement. Just noticing the abdominal muscles engaged here. Last one. A little baby crunch to the right. Exhale to release. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale. When you're ready, 
Interlace the hands behind your skull. Maybe you even interlace your fingers in the opposite direction. Press the right foot into the ground. Get light on the left. Reach your left leg up. You are so strong here. Engage your tummy. Take a little crunch, drawing that right side of your body towards the left knee. And notice my movements are so small that they feel big, just like in our protest, finding where we fit in and feeling the impact. And then whenever you're ready, left foot to the ground, hands to your lap. Notice how you feel. Noticing that you are one person, but you are connected, interconnected to a web of other energies, of souls, of forces, of powers that are radically shifting and changing, and you and your role is so essential, regardless of the work that you do. Maybe you are right on the front lines protesting. Maybe you are cleaning up your neighborhood. Maybe you are offering to buy groceries for someone in need. Maybe you are taking care of your family. Maybe you are taking care of yourself. Every little action towards radical change is important. It's needed and it's necessary. Breathe all the way in. Breathe all the way out. Feel your strength. Feel your power, feel your breath. Float your eyes closed and turn inward. Tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system, giving yourself the break, the rest that you need so that you may go forth. Shavasana. Notice your breath. Notice your support. 
your breath, your foundation. Deepen your breath. Enjoy your breath, which is rightfully yours. To be with, to learn from, to grow, and to tune with. You can take any little wiggles to awaken the body. Maybe stretching ear to shoulder. Grab shim shimmying the shoulder or the hips. Whatever feels nice and organic and intuitive for you. Find your stillness, stillness once more. Take a big breath in. Float your hands to heart center. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Tune into you, to your beating heart, to your breath. And let's share this last breath of our practice together, breathing all the way in and all the way out. Bow to your heart. Take this time to honor yourself. Thank yourself for showing up for you. Perhaps also sending gratitude to all the other energies and forces and souls who came together to make this moment possible for you. And from the bottom of my heart, I bow to you in absolute gratitude. 